And welcome back to the long run where we're playing Kirby Star Allies. So last time we got through our uh, first two levels, Dreamland and Planet Popstar. And uh, this time, well, this entire friggin' space fortress decided to crash into Popstar, so I guess, uh, I guess we gotta figure out what's going on here. So off we go, into the Jam Bastion. Oh yeah, here, Gatehouse Road. This feels like a very fire area, so let's go ahead and switch to something else. The Luster Sword. I do appreciate the fact that it will at least give you, like, if you have a mutated ability, it will give you that mutation back. Can, uh, can't make friends with you, can you? Yeah, a little worried here. All right, that's going to the uh, to the next area. Let's see if we can go back and find something to activate this with. Likely that it just wouldn't give me it. Really? Oh, unless I can. Hang on. I saw a waddle do. Maybe Bean will do it. Alright, come on. Come on, Stas. Now get out. Sword. Yes, you can. Zap sword. But electric. Just to be different. Yeah, has a treat. Yeah, 
of the rare puzzle piece. I see it there. Con, which uh, I don't know if they've figured into a game since friggin' I think Kirby's Dreamland 3. Kirby's Dreamland 2 was their first appearance. I think they were. Charge against charge, who wins? Especially since my charge is charged. Ow. I think they should have tried a better tactic than walk at Kirby. Bonacon Khan joining into the dance, because why not? I love that the Kirby dance is also something that canonically happens inside the world of the game. But it's not just some random interlude that we get to see. It's something that actually happens in the world. And it's great. Alright, time to scale the Eastern Wall. Well, at least the, the the area here was nice enough to just open for us. Kirby constantly flexes on the corpses of his enemies. The friendliest monster of the universe.
That just barely doesn't make it. I think I might need to use Whip. Did we see Whip? Oh, what is that? Staff. Alright. This might also work. Let's check this up. Zap Staff. like a Klingon pain stick. Also, I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, if I happen to miss a, uh, a rare puzzle piece, um, what I'm planning on doing is basically do a second pass of the game, probably just before the final boss, and just get all of the, the ones that we've missed. But for the most part right now, we're just gonna keep the, the game going forward. those up for stars. You have earned my respect by hurting me while you're actually dead. I mean, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Staff is such a weird ability. This pole vaulting into a friggin' slam. First, we need to slam that. And then I need. Okay, that also works, I guess. And there we go. Can't attack those until they're active. Got it. I can see someone getting really good at uh, at using staff 
I'm probably not that person. Wait a minute, I, s I think I saw something down there. No? Okay. Thought there might have been something, but uh, turns out it's all my imagination. Imagination. Let's not start singing the song. It's like a five hour song anyway. Not much for Stabs giving me a good old sword any day. I agree. Gotta be friend circle. No, friend bridge. Well, we know what that means. It means don't let the buddy touch the spikes. like a pixel too low. And that is an extra stage of even That's a two. Probably just a tad too late. Some more of them rare pieces. So our regular stage along view corridor. And our extra stage. Sector A. Pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, let's not get rid of all the chili. You can chill. Yeah. I mean, I can get water from uh from. I'm kind, thank you. Splash stuff. Poking stick. Well, combat and happening here. 
of variable battlefields, apparently. See what's beyond uh, this door. Oh dear. The straight up dark matters theme from uh, Dreamland 3. Um, looks like I need fire for this. Rick? Thank you. Yikes! I did a bad. Oh come on, that that was three dudes. That should have been mixed, right? What? Okay, I lost track of myself there. Oh, the, these guys are just the regular dudes. Yeah, they don't have an ability. I thought they always had staff. to make Maybe if I do this There we go. Uh, this one is from Kirby Superstar Ultra. I think it is used in one of the arena modes. I'm not sure exactly which one. I think it's when you're fighting mini bosses in the arena. Go, my minions! Fight for me! Alright, well, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. Kerbot wants ice cream, and Kerbot gets ice cream. And that's right on the money. Weird that it doesn't actually give you like a full one up though. Hi. Uh, give me one quick moment. Yep. 
Wait, did I get the... Because I wasn't paying attention. I did not get the rare piece. Oh, we'll come back to that later. Because we, we also get a stage list that uh, will tell us everywhere we have access to and what we've collected in every stage. So it'll just be the matter of uh, checking out that stage list later on. For now, like I said, I just kind of want to move the game forward. I grabbed an ability star. With every Kirby game, the ability star does get priority. Okay, guys. Thank you. Sure enough, I did need that for this. Okay, I guess that also works. Geokinesis. So I guess I didn't actually need to get stone. Kirby's polygonist. Basically, yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. requires some more geokinesis. There's a rare puzzle piece. Let's run and fight your jelly. You and me both, pal. You and me both. Hmm. How do we get there safely? Well, I guess that works. Geokinesis to the rescue. I completely whiffed that and it still counted it for me. Anyway, we've opened the Dream Palace. Well, this game is novel, but the sound effects are still in the S. Yeah, the the sound effects all well, the sound effects are just they're curvy, right? They don't really need to be any more than this. Uh, let's take the poking stick.
It's boss time, Mr. Guy. Who do we got here? Bon Jam. <laughs> That's how we greet people on my planet. I am Francisca, one of the three generals of magic. Together we command the Fortress of Shadows, known as Gem Bastion. We wish to assemble the Dark Gem Bard pieces that were scattered across the universe. Once we do, our most twisted of visions will finally be untwisted. Unthawed? Unfurled. But I do not wish to waste my time with pointless chatter, so I won't. Just know that you should attempt to oppose us, uh, that should you attempt to oppose us. I'll have no choice but to put you on ice forever. First bit of dialogue in this game. Because unless we're talking about the anime, the people in Dreamland are not very, uh, are not all that talkative, actually. Oh, jeez. That's coming down. I thought that was coming straight down. I guess not. Most main and Nintendo characters aren't very talkative, except for in the TV shows. Boss Trap Jim the stick up from below. Like, just the fact that it's not limited to Kirby. Like, none of them are particularly talkative most of the time, except for some of the Waddle Dees. And we got the Western Outer Wall. And we've also opened this world's Dream Palace. Let's see who we can unlock this time. I will be closing my eyes and see who we end up getting. And it's Susie. I believe she's from Planet Robobot. Alright guys, you've done enough for now. But also, Mario and Luigi, in the game Mario and Luigi, go, Oh, do the Oh, yeah! Uh, well, Santa's does do some talking, especially, like, in, uh, Other M and Fusion. Basically, the unpopular. <laughs> Most of the unpopular Metroid games is where she actually does some talking. She 
she talks with her blaster. Bang, bang. going to need to uh... also I just noticed the uh the this the psychic dude is called Nisp. But basically Ness from Earthbound but with a P. Or maybe NESP, like Nintendo Entertainment System Power. I guess. Ooh, got a key. We can climb with a key. We gotta be careful. We don't wanna drop it. Because we can't get it back. NES portable. Ah yes. That famous uh that famous system that never existed. Oh dear. Alright. the second extra stage for this level. Let's see what lies beyond this friend door. Auto scrolling area. Dang, I missed that one single star. Oh well. That uh, the big kaboo. Uh oh, I immediately realized after I shot that um, that was not the time to do so. tight. Unfortunate that it kind of crushed those dudes. I'm, uh, I really like an ability here, game. Oh well. Oh, that was way late. Yeah. Pretty much expected a three there. So that unlocks the inner sanctum and also the extra stage, Sector B. Who'd have thought? We have a Sector A, now we have a Sector B. Got everything there.
Oh, what is this from? This one Kirby 64? Friend train. One, two, three, train with me. Of course, you know, the, the train's well-known ability to, uh, scale walls like that. This actually feels more like uh, the invincibility from uh, Super Mario World 2, honestly. shot zones on the conveyor belt down there. It's kind of rude, honestly. Someone charge this thing up. Well, the only person who could charge it up is now being frightened of him. Yes, I'm talking to you, Waddle Dude. Get to it. kind of funny though if like some of them got up and then some of them fell down to two. Oh come on, we can put those last four pieces in this puzzle. Why why are you not letting me do this? Don't really understand how this game um fills in puzzles sometimes. Now time for the Inner Sanctum.
probably gonna need that bomb. Especially considering there's a red door right there. I wonder if... Yeah, that does work. Zap bomb. And the problem is, there we go. I was worried there that uh, that Poppy Bro didn't really know what to do with it. Sometimes it takes them a second to figure it out. It's like, oh, me, it's my turn. Oh, that seems kind of cruel. Electrocuting those water dudes. See what I got. Kind of missed it on my way in here, but there we go. Oh, and apparently I had already hit it. Uh -huh. That's cool. And we got another extra stage. Anyone want to take a guess on what it's going to be called? Also, I just noticed um, the Poppy Brother, uh, his ability is still uh, mutated, so that's permanent, I guess. I wasn't expecting for, um, for friends' abilities to be mutable like that. I mean, like one time maybe, but not like just on a permanent basis. Stop your little pink thing. Yes, you. I have a burning question for you. You're the one who's so rude to sweet Francisca, aren't you? Don't you dare try to deny it. Fiend coward, I swear if, I, if you've harmed a single blue hair on her perfect head, you'll burn for it. Jam blasted. I will never ever forgive you. Now you must face the uh, night must face Flamberge. That's me. For what you've done, I'll scorch you to such a degree that that even tasty toasty marshmallows will seem like ice cubes compared to you. Let's charge this up, shall we? Oh, things are getting awful toasty. <laughs> I ain't going so well. Especially since I tend to kind of lose track of myself. Which is less than ideal. Oh, 
There we go. And then it gives you a second in case you need to revive someone. I kind of appreciate that. Yoink. I do love marshmallows. I haven't had marshmallows in a while. Well, actually... No, that's a lie. I, I went to a cafe recently and had uh, some hot cocoa with marshmallows in it. It was actually pretty good. A delicious picnic. finish off the rare section here. So that unlocks was probably the final stage of this area. But first, Sector C. Who could have seen that coming? So that's everything in Inner Sanctum. And just to confirm here, I hit stage list. I do see here Heavenly Hall. Oh, Heavenly Hall is the one that I just unlocked. Uh, Sector A, I didn't get the piece. And Sector C is where I go next. Use Artist to paint masterpieces. Oh, geez, what is this? For? Oh, it must be from uh, Squeak Squad. Because that's a light motif from Squeak, uh, from Squeak Squad for sure. Uh, wait, what are you watching? Um, I think I'll do a pop and bell right here. Wasn't sure what was happening there. It took me it took me a second to put two and two together and be like, oh add it. Alright. I guess it's my responsibility to do it this time. Oh jeez. Cool. Somehow avoided that. So wait for those to come back around here. So I've seen these things get destroyed before. Oh, there we go. I guess it's just not something that Kirby can do or something. Or maybe it requires, like, a very specific ability. I don't know. from Amazing Mirror, I wonder?
Okay, I have to come back around here. Well, someone can probably deal with this. They're trying to. There we go. And you're you're ha you're not having a particularly good time. Oh boy. Hang on, let me see if I can help you out. Ah Get out of there. No. particularly well right now. Especially if especially if I slam myself onto the spikes. Uh well we just lost our waddle do. Unfortunately dying on the spikes means dying in real life. Bring Jin in here. Actually, let me see if I can imbue you. It's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Can I imbue you too? Yeah, apparently. Splash Susie. Super Splash Bros. That's what's going on here. Well, Splash Brothers and Sister. The Splash of Maniacs. what you can do. Two keys. Interesting. Well, we got two doors. Everyone back up to full health. Lots of tasty cake. Go game. I think I got it. Yeah. We're already up to sixty five lives. I love it. Sector C complete. And now time for Heavenly Hall. So Jam Bastion, I believe, is run by three people, right? So this is going to be a third of those people. Yikes. 
Let's not have more foolish falling down to its deaths. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to have a flaming Joe in here. Thank you. Let's have a little bit of variety in our uh, attack elements. Exactly the one that I wanted to actually. <laughs> bon Jam. I am Zen Partisan, the eldest of the three generals of magic. At first, I thought you two just be a simpleton with a knack for annoyance. <laughs> now it is clear that you're an, in you're an interfering interloper. But I am afraid your unwanted wanderings end here. By the will of our beloved liege, a Lord Highness, officiant of doom, I shall destroy you here and now. Lightning General Zen Partisan. Also, Lord Highness, great name. Really getting to me with the speed quick attacks here. Ow, 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 ow. Didn't take much to kind of knock you out, huh? I just got kind of excited and uh, ended up spending all you had. Ah, uh, jam blasted. Ah, how could there be such opposition on a, on a measly and remote planet like this? Well, it matters not. This Jamba Heart piece is already within my grasp. Listen here, you tiny ball of puffy pink mischief. For all I care, you and this Gem Bastion can rot in ruin forever. Jam, bye bye. Well, this looks not good. I guess we have to do an escape sequence, too. Cool. Time bomb set. Escape immediately.
<laughs> you've acquired a wheel. That's hell of a wheel, let me tell you. Come to think of it, I don't know if you if you actually get just a standard wheel. I think you just get friend circle in this game. Looks like we made it out, hopefully. No, oh, geez, maybe not. Oh, we're doing Friend Bridge now? This seems like neither the time nor the place. Got it though. And another one, because why not? That's kind of a judgment call there, like do you send him right away or do you wait? Star. Oh, right. I want that puzzle piece. That's kind of the 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 annoying thing with Friend Star is that it's really easy to end up like picking up abilities without meaning to. I missed a one up, but listen, we have 68 lives. Oh, couldn't miss that though. But as things stand, we're uh... We're going to get the funny number at the end of the stage. There it is. Even without those stars, the uh, the goal game would have gotten us there. Oh jeez. Alright, we're just getting dunked on apparently. I guess we probably just want to let this kind of Tetris itself out. Like, we can't go left. We can't go right. Shooting anything does nothing.
And then it like turns out, oh no, the game glitched. Oh, there we go. I was expecting the pieces to just kind of keep falling and stacking and then eventually we would like get a hard surface and uh... Oh! This was not the intended solution at all. This is a Halloween. Well, that's kind of rad. I have never seen this room before. I guess I was just supposed to go down. Okay, water is what takes out these guys. talk here. I wasn't trying to get that Hal room. I had no idea that was there. Gamer instinct. Sometimes, sometimes I have that. Who said I didn't? All right, and that takes us to our fourth, um, our fourth level, far-flung starlight heroes. Before they knew it, they were in deep space. Looking back, they saw that Planet Popstar was but a tiny glimmer of the, in the distance. Kirby and his friends are determined to, hopefully, protect the peace and tasty nap times of their beloved home. Now, become a shining star and fly. Thing with these little tiny plants here. Not gonna lie, this area is kind of rad. Also, Apparently we can just do these stages in whatever order we want. Just as long as we get them all done so we can actually get into whatever that is. If I were to look at the stage list, yeah, it just lets me go to all of them. Well, let's uh, let's do them in the proper order, I guess. Starting with Planet Earthfall. Very autumnal glow going on here. It's kind of pretty. I'm gonna say I I appreciate autumn a lot more in video games than in real life. Chests all over the place. Oh. 
the box for me. Most of these seem to not really have anything of consequence. This one's gonna have a key. Since I saw this door over here. Probably serving as a warning that, uh, hey, you're probably gonna have to deal with some key over here. Probably going to need a um, boom hatter friend. Mm. Or I guess uh, I guess fire also works. deal with this though. Let's see if uh, Bluster Susie can take care of that. She sure can. up there. Need to get these. What the? Oh, apparently we got them. Which is a good thing. I would have tried that one again though if we had uh, not gotten them. get blown up by one of those groups. You know, one of the two. Someone deal with this. One up. gonna reach a uh, 99 lives by the end of the stream. My guess is we probably don't have enough time for that. But uh, it would be cool. Yes, zero. Nine, nine. are not like Fanto at all. They're not waiting for me to get a key. It 
Hey. Ah, oh, next one for sure. But we have opened the Dream Palace for this level. Where is that key? Yeah, I guess. The very last box. There it is. Not too late. Filling that up pretty well. And a single rare piece for that picture. And there's our dream palace. It's good hanging out with you, Susie, but uh, you've done enough for now. We'll see who's going to come in to take the dream spot. Close my eyes. Oh, looks like we got the the Kirby's Dreamland 2 friends again. Wait, no, that was that was Planet Earthfall, we've already done it. Oh right, Amiibo. That's the thing that we can do. Where's my Amiibo? There it is. I guess we're still in Autumn's, Autumn Town, Autumn Zone. Let's see what this amiibo does. You have an amiibo, you can use it to get healing items and picture pieces. Do you want to use amiibo? Yes. I want to use the one Kirby Warp Star amiibo that I have. Alright, this is a couple of things. Hmm. Considering all the crash bombs, I'm wondering if I don't have to actually have crash. Well, that was rude. Bugsy, calm down. is just a test of agility. Because I cannot drop this key. Give us suplex if we wanted it, but we already have Bugsy. Looks like we're heading toward a boss. And I done used my thing. 
was on a doofus. Crash rush. Alright, let me see if I can go get another one. Well, that's not who I meant to, to swallow, but sure, let's show off sleep. We showed off sleep. I wonder if I can charge. No? Okay. Well, Biospark got wind. So I can't do an elemental charge on uh, Crash, but uh, I can charge up Crash. Wait a minute. Wespy, what are you doing here? Okay, we're fighting Wispy again. And taking out two thirds of his health. Tasty. Let's try this beetle ability. Actually, is this just suplex? Um, dive. Yeah, I think this is just suplex. The suplex has become beetle. That's what's hap this was happening here. Oh jeez. Now we gotta fight Wispy's grandpa. Iggy Woods. Oh jeez. Oh, come on, let me keep my ability, please. of course named after the elder tree Yggdrasil. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you on that. Yggdrasil shows up uh, in plenty of other games. Kirby always beating up on trees. Kirby, well-known dendrophobe.
Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna need that, aren't I? Will you be my friend? That's not how we make friends. God damn it. Plug in, please. Why are you not plugging in? Zap hammer! I guess we specifically needed zap hammer for that? Will you be my friend? No, then die! <laughs> like that Mr. Sparkle commercial. Join me or die. Can you do any less? It's over here. Oh, it's just a return path. Now we got now we got him in the right order. That was an interesting way to play that though. I'm glad to see they're doing something actually like puzzly with this. piece there, I'm not concerned. As pointed out by Tyrion, um, I could get every single puzzle piece along the way and still not have enough to uh, fill in every puzzle. It's kind of not a great system. <laughs> I can kind of understand why they would uh, want to do it that way. It's like, you, you only have to worry about the one rare puzzle piece and then you don't have to worry about any of the other ones. But also... It also means that... Um, 
you can end up with a situation where by the end of the game, even if you play perfectly, you don't have everything. And you have to just kind of keep grinding at it, and... In a game like this, you don't want grinding to be necessary. I mean, I'm not gonna kink chain zero. You'd be into it. You'd be into. We have time for about maybe two more stages. The first goal game. Boom! A straight up one. Don't even need to climb up for it. Also unlocked Extra Planet Alpha. I guess we forgot to name it. Got everything here. Here's the R6 control of you in the world map so you can see all the sites of the galaxy. Uh, this is a remake of Triple Trouble, and this, the theme of this stage is straight up, um, the seasonal stage from, uh, it's from Kirby Superstar in, uh, Milky Way Wishes. I forget what it's called. Anyone who's played Kirby Superstar knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh wait. Why am I trying to make friends with that Biospark? I already have a Biospark friend. Keep cutting down, Biospark. I don't miss anything. But, uh, you know. Sure. Hmm. We get some lives. And also, the rare puzzle piece.
And this one is from um, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. It's also very Kirby's Return to Dreamland themed, considering that uh, there are some areas that are very much like this, where you have to basically run away from a wall that's chasing you. Which, like, there was always a full version of that song that was composed, you just never get to hear it. Kind of sad. Actually, I'm curious. There's a way to those came back, so never mind. Just thinking maybe there's like a secret if you're able to defeat all of them. But I don't think I have the right set of abilities for that, unfortunately. I think that was early. Just a little early. everything in extra extra planet alpha um not that I have time for one more on to marine moon I guess that I need to hit all of these. And sure enough, that gives us Chef Kawasaki if we want him. Not, I'm gonna pass for now. I'm never not going to be astounded at the fact that uh, he still calls Chef Kawasaki in the 4Kids anime. I would have fully expected them to call him uh, Chef Jeff. Go 
Goldon and Silvox, the metal heavies. So basically pawn and con, but uh But heavy! Metal! Meltdown! Anyone who's wondering what the hell I'm going on about. Um the, there was a very excited pinball table that was played on Arbor Earlier stream yesterday called Heavy Metal Meltdown. And it really is a sight to behold. Looks like we got uh, Silvox first. <laughs> Not sure exactly what dealt the finishing blow, but uh, I'll take it. And that directs us to the next planet. And sure enough, we can use the right stick to, uh... Let's get a good look around. Man, this, this place... This place is looking pretty fancy. Let's be real here. And this is super pretty. Anyway. Um, Planet Caverna is our next stop. But speaking of stop... I think it is time to stop for today. Watch movies again! The theater is now unlocked. 30% so far, we're doing pretty good, but that is where today's stream is going to come to a close. So I want to thank y'all for watching, we had uh, Tyrion, J-Pop, Zero, oh Sim Guy was here, crap I missed Sim Guy, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah 38%. Not to say that this is only going to be uh, three sessions, it's probably going to be a couple more than that. Because, the, like I said, some of the post-game stuff gets really rough, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 6pm Atlantic Standard Time. It is my match in the um, Super Smash TV Easy Percent Tournament uh, against Aquas, who is 6th seeded. Uh, I am uh, 27th, I think, so we can pretty much come to a conclusion on who's going to win, but I'm still going to do my best. Um, next stream after that is going to be on uh, Sunday at, uh, uh, at 8pm or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, we're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And we're gonna do some more of Kirby's Star Allies. Uh, if I, I'm assuming that J-Pop is still not streaming on Mondays, uh, I will probably do another Smash TV session. 
on Monday. I would I just skipped this week because again I wanted to play pinball with our Borelia. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolier if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.